Okay, so the handsome devil in the middle of this photograph is John Wayne Nelson, and he lived on the frontier during the American West, and here he is with his wife and family. Now, you may not know who this guy is, but I promise you he has affected you because he was a frontier storyteller, and I'll explain it. So he moved out west when he was a teenager, and he just decided to be part of an Indian tribe. So he literally sat in a teepee and didn't move until they let him stay. <laughs> so that was the start of his frontier life, and he actually did a lot of really cool things. He interpreted and scouted for the U.S. Army. He helped the settlers. He guided the Mormons to Utah. He was also a member of Buffalo Bill's Wild West Exhibition. So he's a really Im interesting guy, but again, why is he important? Well, let me explain. So I first ran into John Y. Nelson when I found his autobiography called 50 Years on the Trail. And I realized that there was some value here, so I studied it. Um, I read it lots of times, I made footnotes for it, appendix materials, I wrote a critical introduction for it. And after all of this research, I realized something. This book was basically a bunch of baloney, and he probably made most of it up. <laughs> so I found this out while looking into his, his claim that he led the Mormons to Utah. So he says in his book that Brigham Young personally came to him saying that they felt they would never reach their destination unless he was with them, guiding them through the desert. Uh, juicy stuff, I know. Then I found a blurb in the Millennial Star, which was an LDS contemporary newspaper, about Nelson's book, and the Mormons did not like it. They said that his story was utterly without foundation in fact, and that the Mormons were guided to the Salt Lake Valley by no one but the God of Heaven. So, what did I do with all of this? I looked at Nelson's book and I realized that it may be a bunch of baloney, but I think it's baloney worth celebrating. <laughs> because John Wayne Nelson was a, a storyteller on the frontier and the best frontiersmen were storytellers. It was an oral tradition. So he was taking part in a larger story and that story was the frontier myth. And that frontier myth is what we base our American identity on. So, wait we base our identity on lies. Well, sort of. I'd like to think of it as making poetical mountains out of historical molehills. <laughs> so what Nelson really did was he painted this American West that we as Americans just love and we cling to. So what, I, what I'm really saying is that the storytellers of the frontier, whether factual or not, their stories, um, actually molded our country's identity. And I think for the better. So I'd like to thank John Nelson for telling his stories, whether they were true or not. Thank you.